We're getting there, ain't we? Working hard? <clears throat> it's the lumbago. Now, if I overdo it, I I'll get a relapse. It's very serious. Get up or get out. Oh, you can be so testy. What is it? Constipation? Guess you're my proof I'll never quite outrun my sins. You got so sanctimonious in your old age. No wonder she left you. It's like rooming with the King James Bible. <laughs> get up! Ow! <laughs> I I I'm getting up. Oh, no, wait, what did I have to tell you? I went into town. Uh, oh, I got, I got a little drunk. Uh, oh, shit! Well, we gotta go. We gotta go to Saint Denis. Charles. Charles Smith is alive, I reckon. Charles Smith alive? Really? I, I reckon. Unless I dreamed it all, and by the sound of it, not doing too good neither. Come on, let's get off. All right. Yeah. <sighs> Back in San Denis. I never liked this place. Oh, yeah. Well, me neither. <sighs> All right. Let's go find that big sour bastard. Sure. <sighs> let's split up. Good idea. I'll take the saloons. You take the slums. Now, uh, how about I take the saloons and you take the slums? Can I get a ride? All right. Thank you. Thanks for that, friend. Safe travels. Y'all right. This way. That's a girl.
Stay here. Hello. Officer. Hello, mister. Stop sleepwalking. How do you do, sir? Hello. Welcome, uh, first time. Bonjour. Hey, partner. Bonjour. So, what will it be? Mister. Hey there. Bonjour, monsieur. Fellas. Bonjour, monsieur. Bonjour, monsieur. My wife is going to leave me for a man she met at the docks. How do you do? Are you going to work at all today? Hello? I'd like to be alone with you, honey. Partner, y'all having fun? Hey, partner, you seen a big Indian guy? Indian? <laughs> sure, I've seen hundreds. A big guy. Boxer, maybe? Likes fighting? Yeah, yeah. Bare knuckle guy. Think he's, he's fighting tonight over at St. Saturnine's. Thank you. Thanks a lot. No problem, bud. You wanna have a good time? No, thank you. Como prefieras. 
Pero we would have a lot of fun. Hi there, y'all. Where have you been all my life, Cielo? That was a hello, lady. Uh, hello, sir. Yes, hello again. Saint Saturnines. Now, you want a drink? Yes, and let me know. You're right about that. Saving my strength for the ladies, all right? Hello? Oh, good lord. I was just beginning to enjoy some peace and quiet. <laughs> Ask that first barman I met. He told me Charles was here. I don't know. I, I'm throwing fights for a few dollars. Throwing fights? Sure. And you like that? Of course not. So? So? Let me go place a bet. Come on. Man. I thought you were dead. Sure. Abigail's still alive, too, only she left me. Uh, excuse me. I'd like to place a bet. On who? On myself, to win. Lone Wolf. From the valleys, Simon of Wales. And on my right, an Indian Hercules. The savage, the untamable, the unbeaten, and dare I say unbeatable, Lone Wolf. You know how this works. No weapons, no forfeiting, no crying like a beaten child. Everything else goes. You win by knockout, you win by retirement, or you win by death. Let's have a good fight, boys. Let's keep it clean, but not so clean. <laughs> you know what to do, Senor Smith. Don't black out just yet. Try and stay on your feet! 
you hear? Or something. Hit him, Charles. Kill that bastard. Oh, wolf. <laughs> Don't be stupid, little wolf. Come on, Lone Wolf. Better get you the hell out of here. Hey, Lone Wolf! Whoa! Ha! Made my months, but you also made some fellas mighty unhappy. So it goes. Here's your share, partner. We just made the bed I said we So you keen on staying around here or heading off with me and Uncle? But, John, I haven't seen you two in years. I know. But right now, my sense is you just need to lie low. Where? We got a little place up past Blackwater, in the high country. Okay. I gotta grab my baggage. I booked a steamer heading up river. That's why I was pretending to throw the fight. Okay, boys. I'll meet you at the bridge outside Saint Denis. What are you doing? Oh, just have a few urns to run. <laughs> You're useless. I am a deep thinker. Be quick. Come on. This way. My bag's on the dock side. So, what happened? You mean back then? Uh, Arthur helped me get out. Gave me a chance to live, I guess. You, you know that Arthur... Sure. Word got to me up north, so I went back and buried him in Miss Grimshaw. I had to run. If any of us had been found, we'd have... Oh, of course. I understand. He's where he would have wanted to be. A pretty hillside, facing the evening sun. He gave me his satchel, with some of his things in it. Remember that journal he always drew in? I got it. I'm a bit of a draftsman myself nowadays. He was a good man. As much as any of us could be. Getting sick like that has to rattle a fella. Excuse me? Rattle him, or give him some kind of understanding. What his life was really all about. Yeah. That makes sense. Anyway, I heard all you were dead. Or I might have come looking. And me, the same about you. Dutch? Who knows? Dead? Maybe? I'm not sure. I heard all kind of things, but... One thing I know, he ain't around here. I ain't heard nothing real in years since... Well... That time. Nor me. Micah? I hope that bastard's dead. You know, he was the one speaking to them agents. What? Putting them on us the whole time. Or oh, since before I got off Sissica. They picked up Strauss, the agents. Made a real mess of him. I heard he died in custody. Never said a word. <sighs> Guess some folk is strong in ways you can't see. Hello? Everything that Hello, happened. Cobra. All those deaths. Micah? None of us is innocent in that. Dutch, least of all. But I don't think we would have had to make those calls. All that mayhem. If it wasn't for... Okay. Uh, hold on. What? Careful. Why? Those are Guido Martelli's men. Who? He, uh, he used to work for Angelo Bronte. I've only been here an hour. Hey. Come over here. What now? Well, you go left, I go right. On three. Mm -hmm. Three. <laughs> Where was Uncle gonna meet us? Over the bridge going out of town. West. 
Hold on. You see any law? Not yet. Keep your eye out. San Denis ain't short on police. I remember that. Only too well. Anyone? Good so far. The further we get from those gunshots, better chance we have. Of denying it, at least. No. We can't get caught. Martelli has the police chief in his pocket. If they take us in, we won't get out of the interview room. I don't want to get in a shootout over this. That's not the man I try to be anymore. No, I don't want that either. You see anything? I think we're clear. If I ever want to go back, remind me that I hate Saint Denis. Guido Martelli will happily remind you of that. Give me some simple folk and wide open spaces. Speaking of simple. John Charles! <laughs> Easy! You boys been all getting up to no good? Kind of. Been getting shot at. Well, they weren't very good shots. Come on, let's head for home. <laughs> Feels like old times. <laughs> it's good to have the old gang back together again. Let's just hope things don't turn out like last time. There he goes. What'd I tell you, Charles? Boy is as sour as weak old milk. No wonder she didn't stay with you. Not even a retired $2 whore would stay with you. That's the goddamn truth. Now, you used to be decent company, but now you're worse than a snake with a toothache. All he does is whine, whine, whine. Excuse me. Oh, don't get all angry. It ain't going to change nothing. You're hopeless. And I mean that literally. You got no hope. I mean, look at you. Look at this place. Your dream home. I've had better nightmares than this dream. Oh, darling Abigail, I've changed. Come live with me in an outhouse. I wouldn't ask my worst enemy to take a shit in. What are you trying to say? It's awful. It's a dump. The house has got to go. Get some self-respect, you miserable sack of shit. Build a house so the lady set foot in. The place just needs a woman's touch. It needs leveling. No woman would touch this place. Now, I reckon these horses can have it down in a minute. Here, come on. Tie that end around the horses. You loop that end around there. Horses will pull it clean down. <laughs> we good? I think so. All right. Well, <laughs> let's get going. Now just pull. You got this, John? I'll go when you do. Good horses. <laughs> That's it! Uh, almost! Uh. <laughs> See? I told you it wouldn't be no trouble. And now? 
Now we head into town, buy ourselves a house right out of a book. Same as if it were a bicycle. Where in town? Uh, there's a fella by the train store. Cakes hardwood and timber. Okay. You keep working here. But if I don't go with you, who's gonna Just tell you that? Just need a bit of peace and quiet from your incessant yapping. Charles, make him work. Whip him if you have to. You're a good filly. Hang in there, girl. Head up. I made it, Charles. Make sure he helps. Work I can do, John. Work an uncle. Test my patience. Whip me if you have to. Don't mind me. Talk to you later. I don't want to see any of this sheet metal here when I'm back. You won't. Won't see me here neither, because I will have worked myself into the ground. Hey, Charles. Hey. You doing okay? I'm fine. Great. Yeah. Okay. Easy there.
Don't get skittish, girl. Oh, now. Hey, hey, easy. Good girl.
Quite a view. Uh-huh. You know, this landscape, these views, this America, it holds us tight. And once we've seen it, we'll never know ignorance again. Maybe. It is that beauty, which really is the eternal beauty that is truth. This is God. Not the proof, but the thing. Not his work, but him. Wonderment is our morphine, I suppose. All us Americans dream of places. They are our God. Our dreams. Us, perhaps. I suppose. Forgive my crude naivete, but are you a cowboy, sir? Not really. Kind of. I am that most worthless of all creatures. A writer. A second guesser of our creator. A dreamer of others' dreams. Okay. Evelyn Miller. Evelyn Miller? A man I knew. He was a great lover of your books. Thank you. But you're not? Most went a little over my head, I'm afraid, but some of the bits he read stuck with me. I'm a terrible fraud, sir. Your friend was deceived. I am God's blithe plaything. And what a feeble game he has begun in me. My mentor never saw things quite like that. You know, I used to write in a study and teach at a university. I taught some Connecticut fops how best to appreciate their topiary. I was a gilded ape. I loathe the man I was. The man I am. Uh, guess we all live with certain ways of coping with what we've done in this life. I enjoyed our conversation. There's a truth in you, sir, a rare truth. Treasure it. I'm, I, I'm living in a cabin over near Tanner's Reach. Come by sometime. Maybe we might talk some more. Maybe I shall. Good day. Come on, lady.
boy. Over here, fella. You're down in my face. Follow me. Your skull is about to see some sunshine. Well, look at this asshole. Hey! I was looking forward to killing you. Say goodbye! You to put a bullet in your skull. Relax, girl. Brush it off.
being. Well then, you ought to take care of that horse there. Real fine beast. Great. Thanks. Hey there. Morning. What a glorious day. You Hola. Hola. Hey. How do you do? Mister, are you well? Just fine, thank you. That girl they found wandering around on the plains? Turns out she's pregnant. What's this place coming to? Morn. <laughs> okay, then. I ain't got time for this. Hey, hey that work ain't gonna finish itself. Just afraid, pal. Don't get funny. Can I get a ticket, please? Through the doors behind you, please. Come back for another one. Hey! How you do? Good morning, sir. 
Surprising. Uh, excuse me. Good morning. Well, How's it going? Just swell. Hey, how are things? Yeah. Excuse me. Well, now, it's been a spell since I saw you last. Take a look at what we got. How do you do? Hope you got some quality goods. Can't believe so. Someone finally bought that land at Beecher's Hope. Take a gander at this old thing here. Ain't no harm in just looking. Thank you. Uh, excuse me. What you need, friend? You're doing quite a job there. Quite mind-numbingly boring. That's some mouth you got on you. Right? That's enough there. Great. Thanks. Behind you, partner. Hello. Yeah. They put whiskey in your mouth? 